Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth. You may have heard someone say, the following day, a point in time, and behind schedule. These are all phrases that represent some when, as if it's somewhere. Humans all over the world use space to represent time. We tend to agree that the passage of time is like a line or curve through space. But where we disagree is which direction time goes. You might be saying, come on, obviously time should be represented from left to right. And we hear you. When we're showing the passage of time in Minute Earth videos, we generally show it progressing from the left side of the screen to the right. But that's almost certainly because our team mostly speaks English and Spanish. And when you ask people who speak languages that flow from left to right to arrange a set of pictures in sequential order, they almost universally arrange the pictures from left to right, with the earliest images on the left and the latest on the right. Yet people who speak Arabic, Hebrew, and other right-to-left languages generally represent time as unfolding from right to left. Earlier images go here, and later ones here. And native speakers of Mandarin, a language that traditionally flows downwards on the page, are likely to lay out the pictures from top to bottom, bucking the horizontal trend altogether. Writing direction is so critical to how people represent time that when bilingual speakers take the picture organizing test in languages written in different directions, they often organize the pictures differently depending on the language they're being tested in. But it's not just about writing direction. Lots of cultures have no history of written language, yet still represent time spatially. For the Yupno tribe in mountainous Papua New Guinea, the past lies downhill and the future uphill. For the Australian Kuk Tayor, time flows from east to west. In these systems, time's direction depends on a person's current orientation. For instance, a member of the Kuk Tayor facing north would organize those sequential pictures from their right, where east is, to their left, where west is. If they turned around to face south, east would be on their left, so they would organize the pictures from left to right. Facing east, they would actually organize time as going from front to back and facing west from back to front. You may also sometimes represent time on a front-back dimension, especially for events you're involved in, like gesturing backwards when talking about things that have already happened. You literally put your past behind you. And that totally makes sense, if you think about yourself moving forwards into the future. But the Aymara people of the Andes represent the past as being ahead of them and the future behind. After all, just like you can see what's in front of you, you know what happened in the past. And just as what's behind you is a mystery, you don't know what the future holds. That's something that I'm going to have to keep mulling over tomorrow. Which is which way again? <laughs>